all right what's going on guys got another haircut tutorial for you this is going to be pretty much a ball fade to a side part and uh, it's gonna be pretty short on the top just because it's already short um and like always we're balding we're balding him out all right so now i'm kind of laying my foundation with the number three guard and we're coming right off the, the shape of his head right off the ridge and you can see we can avoid using any clip overcome or anything like that um and then now we we went straight to the number one open and again using the shape of his head using the shape of the guard um we're able to kind of just blend right in we'll follow it up with the half guard or the 1 16th right underneath where we just left off and then uh once we take off the half guard it's pretty much blade open to close and the fade is done and i think one of the main things one of the th main things people realize when they come to my hands-on classes or to the look and learns i actually cut faster than i look in my tutorials Sometimes you can't really tell how fast the barber cuts or how slow they cut because of all the editing. Um, it's a whole nother ball game, a whole nother monster when you when you gotta record your tutorials. Um, so, all right. So now we're the reason why I did this haircut like this isn't because I cut hair in these steps. I'm actually cutting hair in a class for this video, so I just kind of showed them one side in real time, and then I um, I kind of explained everything slowly in detail the rest of the haircut that makes sense and we close we usually close the lever probably like three times so from all the way open to halfway open to a quarter way open and usually by the time we close it it's all blended out So in this particular class, man, this is uh, this is the second time I've um, I've got to hang out with Cam. He's been to two of our hands-on courses already, and he's grown like crazy, man. But um, every each class I've gotten to cut his hair, so for the look and learn at least. All right, and once you go through this system, man, you can just go back and detail. Detail your butt off. Because detailing is what's going to bring your cuts to the, to the next level. I tell you guys that all the time. And then one thing one thing that I found, man, with with most, most people learning how to cut hair, man, the biggest issue is they're not going high enough. Like, you can't just play with guidelines. You can't just flick at them and expect them to come out the guidelines right you got to cut hair it's got the clipper has to cut hair all right so now we're kind of just bringing everything together this is a number two guard i think yeah number two guard and we're just cleaning things up you can see the fades coming out pretty good It looks like I'm kind of like all over the place because I still have some guidelines there that I obviously didn't even touch. There you go. Now we take it out real quick. Boom. And I believe we did this haircut in Charlotte. Was it Charlotte? No, not Charlotte. I'm sorry. Maryland. It was in Maryland. Again, guys, it's super important to make sure you're coming off of the head. You don't want to cut into the, the hair on top because then you're going to have a faux hawk look. We want to keep um, the, the bulk on the top above his ridge. We don't want to cut into it.
All right, so now we're doing some point cutting, just kind of trying to soften up that ridge some. Using some scissor over comb. And pretty much you're combing up to about the length underneath the hair that you want to cut. That'll be your guideline. Whatever comes sits on the spine, you're just cutting with the with the scissors. And then here, I'm just using a guideline right through the middle. That will be my guideline throughout the entire haircut on the top. So it's one vertical section right through the middle of the head. And then uh, we'll take horizontal sections. You can do it. You can do it like this, where you over direct the front into the sections, or you can start from the back and do it forward. So I kind of show people how to do it either way, but. And I'm, I'm cutting it dry because it's already short, so. You can see it's pretty it's pretty even. Using this system has helped me a lot with, with, uh, with my scissor game, I think. Alright, now I'm taking vertical sections, just cross-checking it. And vertical sections, point cutting it. Take out some of this some of this bulkiness. Soften up the hair a little bit. So now I'm separating the part. I learned this one from, uh, I think it was, I think it was, who did I learn this from? I forget who I learned that, that from. I'm so sorry. I want to give uh, credit where it's due, but I forgot. Now we're doing some scissors over comb, just cleaning things up. And now we are placing the part in the head. We don't need to, you know, make it crazy thick or anything like that. But I do clean up the top and the bottom of the part. Just so it pops a little bit without making it too thick of a line. And he has, he has a, um, um, a cowlick in the front of his hairline as you can see so I'm not gonna try to make a strong hairline on him I'm gonna keep it soft natural maybe um, maybe give it some hard lines on the corner and the sides of his hairline just to give it a, a more masculine look but um, I'm not gonna try to push him back or anything like that and give him a, a straight hairline And, and Cam is in the military. He's in the Navy, I believe. Um, so this is like the the perfect cut, I think, for his lifestyle and the type of person he is. Really cool dude. So And the 245 razor I'm using is the medium exposure. It's not the super exposed or the non-exposed. It has enough exposure to where I can see the corners and do detail work like I'm doing here, but not like overly done or you know what I'm saying or not. Not to where I can't see like the non-exposed. Alright, so now we'll just do some 
some last minute touch up touch up work and in the barbershop this would be a 30 minute haircut slap some product in here cam can be bringing like some crazy pomades to the classes like he brought one that was a $50 pomade another one that was like $35 right here I'm just using 245 245 stuff so you guys can see the finished product what it looks like I think it came out pretty damn blurry if I say so myself man the transformation right here so um, I jacked up his hairline but it's cool cause we got it covered up now he doesn't know now he knows but he didn't know you wanna see what it looks like sure bro you got a hairline bro I said I have a test for that tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> what the hell Absolutely not. I mean, it's straight, but he like it. He like it. I mean, it's straight. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna live up to the. No, I'm not living up to the stereotype. But I'm just saying. Like, he's gonna post Instagram photos and they're gonna be perfect hairlines. He's buying this. So I just got back from the Rochester Chris Basio uh, hands-on and look and learn course, and the experience is something I'll never forget. I learned so much in such a short amount of time and he did not waste any second literally he made sure everybody was on point the entire time and knew what he was talking about and if, and if somebody was confused he would break it down even more the look and learn course was great because he actually used me as a model and got to cut my hair as you can see it's literally the blurriest fade I've ever had and uh, he was just a down-to-earth guy, man, and like you could really talk to him about anything, not just in haircutting, but in life in general. And I think anybody who's even questioning on whether they should cut hair or not should go to this course. I learned so much, and I don't even have that much experience, but now, because of him, I feel com really comfortable behind a chair. So I gotta thank him and, you know, his buddy Dre and the Tomb 45 squad just for putting that together, so.